In this lecture, we are going to continue scripting our password, uh, Wi-Fi password malware that we uh, started in the last two previous lectures. All right. So uh, now in this lecture, we are going to implement a functionality to actually enable us send the uh, Wi-Fi password, uh, Wi-Fi uh, access point profiles, including which include the password that we have been able to retrieve from the computer using our Python uh prescript to now actually send it to our email instead of printing it on the screen the, like we did in the previous lecture so actually now we are going to retrieve the profile information and then send it to our email all right so to achieve that we are going to implement uh, another function just as we have it in our algorithm and in our program plan we are now in going to implement function send email that will actually send the email to us so i'll just come over here and then I'm going to define a new function and then I'm going to call it uh, send mail. So send uh, mail, right? So um, and I'm going to make use of this to actually send the email, okay? So now to achieve this uh, sending email using Python, we need to make use of a module called SMTP. So I need to go off there and imp import this module. So I'll just come off here. And then I'm going to write import uh, import SMTP live uh, simple mail transfer protocol library. So basically, this is a module that will enable us to actually send an email using Python. All right. So I'll go down now, and then I'm going to uh, uh, now make use of this module to now create. A server object so i'm going to create a server object uh, using a particular class within this module so all i have to do to create a server object i'm going to create a i'm going to initiate a variable called server and then i'm going to assign it with smtp live from this module there is a class called smtp uh, ssl okay smtp SSL. So basically here what I'm doing, I am creating an object of this SMTP SSL and our SMTP class that uses SSL and then uh, it is within this model SMTP live and then I'm assigning it to this variable server. So basically this server has become an object of this class SMTP SSL. All right. So now the next thing but I need to pass uh, some fields within this class so the fields within this class i'm going to uh, pass the name the host name of my server and the port that i want to connect that uh, to that server uh, with okay so basically i need to pass the name of the host name of my server okay so i can make use of my server uh, to send email if i have one and if i don't have one uh, Google provide us with an SMTP server that we can use to send email. So, and that is what I'm going to use. So, the name of the server is smtp.gmail.com. So, I'm just come over here and I'm going to write it smtp, smtp.gmail.gmail.com. Uh, All right, the gmail.com. And then I'm going to connect to that. Uh, to this host, which is basically a computer. This is the host name of that particular SMTP server. And then I'm going to connect to that port, uh, to that machine, to that server, over port 465. So I'm connecting to it over port uh, 465. So 465, okay? So now I've created a server instance, Google uh, Gmail server instance using my SMTP SSL class from model SMTP lib. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to log in to this server. So I'm going to invoke function login from this class, uh, from this class SMTP SSL. So I'm going to log in server.login and then to login, I'm going to provide the email and the password that I'm going to use. So the part, so this is the email address. This is the G Gmail email address that I have. And then the password that I use for this Gmail email address. So that means that within, if I invoke function send email, I'm going to pass email as an argument as well as password as an argument. Okay. So after logging in now, so the next thing I want to uh, send a message using this email. 
okay and to send an email i need uh I'm going to make use of a function called send email so i'm going to make use of uh, i'm going to make use of that function via my object server i'm going to invoke this function send email and then this function send email requires three arguments the email that i want to send uh, that i want to send from and then the email that i want to send to then the message that i want to send to that particular email so basically the email from which i want to send the email to that i want to send to and then the message that i want to send over using this um, my email all right so so that means that we need to add another argument so i know i'm going to add a uh, message here so that uh, when we invoke this function send email then we need to pass three argument the email that we want to send uh, uh, the message from the password to go log into that email and then the message that we want to send through that email so after i'm uh, finished sending now i can quit my server since i have finished using the server so i will now quit from the server so i was just say i'm going to invoke another function called quit so server dot quit it is just as simple as this okay so now to invoke this function i'll just come off here and then i'm going to invoke this uh for a trip wi-fi password so we have invoked the trip wi-fi password and then this wi wi-fi password will now is going to return profile result okay so now i can just come up here and create a new uh variable so let me call it profile result again so profile uh result uh, profile result now it calls the retrieve Wi-Fi password. So retrieve, retrieve Wi-Fi password is a function that will run and get me all the uh, information of the access point profiles that is saved on the victim computer. And then it's going to return that information to me. And then I'm assigning that information to variable profile result. Okay. So I'm now profile result contain all that information so after getting that information now i would like to send that information by invoking by invoking my function send email so i'll just say send email uh invoke function send email and then i'm going to uh, i i i pass the required argument so i'll go over and see what are the required argument email password message so i need to pass the my email my password and then the message that I want to send, all right? So I need to uh, initialize uh, uh, more variables. I need to initialize my variable. So let me initialize a new variable. I'll call it email. And then I'm going to pass it the value, uh, uh, initialize it with my email address. So I'm going to, uh, my email address, I already have it here that I'm going to use for this particular lecture, uh, rootkit112 at gmail.com. So I'll just come up here and then I'm going to write it root uh, kit 112 at uh at uh sorry at gmail uh .com. so that is the email that i want to send to okay so now email and then the password now the next thing i'm um, initialize a new variable called password and then i'm going to initialize it with my password so i'll just go over here that i've already uh have the password for that particular email address so let me just copy it i'll copy it and then i'll come over here and then i'm going to paste it here as simple as that so now when i invoke function uh send email now as as according to the function definition i'm going to pass email as in an argument so i'm passing email as argument followed by password and followed by password that i have here then followed by the message that i want to send now the message that i want to send is profile result okay so i'm done with my apply my malware my wi-fi uh, password stealing malware but i cannot send it at this moment instantly i need to go to my gmail then i need to enable what we call less secure apps now this is the url for to access that particular feature to enable that feature https my account.google.com once you are logged into your uh, gmail uh, email account then you can be able to navigate to this url and then make sure that allow less queue apps is enabled not disabled so make sure allow less queue apps is on that means that uh our python script can be able to access your gmail login and then send you that particular uh, message that we are trying to send using our python script so my own is enabled that means i can run my script and then send this uh, message so i'll just come up here here i've already saved it so i'll just come here minimize this then come to my terminal and then run my python script so i'm write python 
and then Wi-Fi malware and then I'm going to hit enter. If there's any error, we go over and correct the error. And perfect, we have been able to successfully send uh, the uh, the malware has been able to uh, successfully send the uh, Wi-Fi uh, access point uh, profile information to our email. Now we can uh, go to our browser and then check the email whether we will see the message. So I will minimize this and then I will come here over to my browser. Okay, and as we can see, we have a message from the Python script. So let me log in. Uh, let me log in. Okay, perfect. As you can see, here the, we have the information that has been sent to us for the Wi-Fi Faisal uh, name. We have version. We have profile Faisal on interface Wi-Fi, and then we have everything, all the profile information. And uh, we can see the password, password one two three. Okay. So and then we scroll down, scroll down, and then you can see more Wi-Fi. So you can see a uh, uh, profile you are found on interface Wi-Fi. Also, when you scroll down, we can also see the password. All right. So and then the other Wi-Fi profile hacker if you on interface Wi-Fi you can also see the password. So we have been successfully been able to implement our uh, malware uh, stealing uh, our uh, uh, AP password access point uh, password stealing malware. So uh, we continue our uh, ethical hiking with Python three in the next section.